G'day, it's Robbie around today. Um, in this video I'm going to show you something else you can do with a vertical mill slide. Um, when you set your lathe up to do milling, um, it's handy for other jobs besides milling. You can also use it for cutting uh, and slotting um, using a, a friction disc uh, or a, or a uh, high speed steel saw. Um, and it will do an extremely accurate job. Uh, in this case I'm cutting some very hard steel plate which is going to be used for some jaws for a small chuck and I'm just using a, uh, a small friction disc, I'll be spinning it at about 1900 rpm just spin it as fast as the lathe will go um, you can cover up your ways if you want to but in this case it's not really a great need because I always wipe it down anyway and all the rubbish is going back that way so uh, but anyway personal choice um, but you don't really need it so I'll just give you a demonstration of uh, how easily uh, and well it cuts it. So uh, yeah, we'll fire up the, uh, the lathe and uh, you can have a look. You can see that when I'm doing this, I'm cutting in both directions. Um, it doesn't make much difference. Uh, if you were milling, you would be cutting from front to back. But as this is a very low uh, load, a very low pressure situation, you can cut in both directions. It'll make no difference whatsoever. Um, it'll still do a beautiful job either way. I'm spinning the lathe, in this case, I'm spinning the lathe at uh, 1900 RPM, and uh, yeah, it's coming up lovely. Here's the finished product. You notice I did the final cut from front to back. Um, I find that uh, you've got less chance of the thing grabbing. Um, it is possible that you could pinch the friction disc. So the last little bit is best to just do it from front to back if you if you want to be uh, safe. So there you go. Easy as that. I'll measure it up in a minute and we'll see how it looks. Okay. Here's a bit of steel. Let's see how she measures up. Twenty-two point one seven millimeter. Twenty-two point one nine. That's good enough, I think. So, uh, as you can see, you can get it good and accurate. So, uh, yeah, these will be the. Uh, George for this uh, old vice I'm doing up um, and once again you know to cut stuff accurately I've still got to do the ends but to cut stuff accurately well that's the way you can do it you can get a really good job and uh, yeah, that's hard stuff so yep being able to cut uh, with friction discs in the lathe like that is very very handy and it extends the capabilities of the lathe a lot further than just the basic stuff that you do on a lathe without a mill slide. So getting a, a mill slide and fitting it up on your lathe uh, is a very, very 
handy um, bit of tooling to have. So, okay, I hope you found it interesting. See you next time.